Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel, Kalanadi. Today I am going to review Six Weeks by Mer Lafferty. I have been anticipating this book very, very much and I requested it from the publisher, which they very kindly sent to me, and this review is my honest opinion. In the opening scene of Six Wakes, the six crew members of the spaceship Dormere awake in cloning vats to discover the gory crime scene of their previous bodies. 25 years have passed since their mission began, but they have no memories of this period. As far as they're concerned, they just met each other a couple of hours ago and they know only two things. They were all attacked, and because they're the only people awake on the ship, one of them must be the murderer. There is a seventh entity on the ship, the ship's AI called Ian, which isn't in much better shape than they are. All the ship's data is wiped, their memories are gone, and they have to piece together what happened from squirreled away private data storages and messages that their previous selves left behind. And the answers may also lie in their histories. Every one of the crew members has a criminal past that they want to keep hidden from each other, and they've been promised that this mission will wipe their slates clean. There's a lot packed into this story without sacrificing pace or succumbing to massive info dumps, because this is a pretty complicated world. It's a very cool future where cloning yourself a new body is du jour, but not without its ethical dilemmas and controversies. And there's a lot of really great science and technology in here, cloning, 3D printing, mind hacking, space travel, artificial intelligence, combined with classic ingredients like revenge and murder. I admit to being tired of the people wake up without a memory trope, and I don't get very excited by sticking people in a room and making them solve a mystery scenarios either anymore, but I was very, very impressed at how Lafferty makes this explosive, and she uses these ingredients to make it interesting and new and fresh. It was very interesting to me that while our characters are clones of the murdered crew, the victims of that particular crime are strangers. And mostly they remain strangers because their lives have been erased. They will never be remembered by anybody. And our current clones seem more motivated to solve this crime because they don't want it to happen again than because they are seeking justice for what has already happened. There are some poignant moments when characters have to reflect on this situation. What does it feel like to have a whole version of yourself that you can't remember, that you will never remember, but that person was legally you? And, and how does one's body, one's experiences and memories contribute to one's sense of self? Or is that a dated concept of the self now that cloning exists? A lot of these questions arise from how technology is used in Six Wakes, which is what I really, really liked about it. The focus is really on cloning and then tangential to that. 3D printing. And then the history of cloning laws is very important to the story itself. A lot of the characters' decisions sound like ethical nightmares that you really only want to discuss in the sterile safety of a classroom because reality is messier and bloodier, as is on display here. For example, should cloned people have different rights from non-cloned people? If the codicils say that only one clone of a personality can exist at the same time, if you kill the older and now illegal clone, is that murder? Is that ethically wrong? I don't think that Six Wakes answers all of the questions that it brings up, but I also think that there's no way it could. As for characters, I think generic is too strong of a word for what I feel here, just that the characters were the least memorable part of the book for me by the end. I was more interested in the mystery and the cloning issues, but there were some standouts. My favorite character is the main viewpoint, Maria, who is weak in some ways, strong in others. I remained very strongly upset that she shrugs off many of the warning signs that she is being horribly used 
while admitting that all of that was completely in character for her and she felt realistic because of that. And maybe that was my common problem for all the characters. All of them are not good people. Even if their crimes were maybe not their fault, in my opinion, they just didn't feel like people I wanted to root for sometimes, yet because I could see this being set up of a crew that I would really enjoy following in further stories that develop them more. The only other character I have to mention is Ian, the ship's AI. I really appreciate how the evil or uncooperative AI trope is used here. I've never seen it done quite like this, and I was particularly pleased by the explanations and motivations by the end. So Ian felt more like a great continuation of the tradition rather than a ripoff of any previous AIs like Hal, for example. As you can probably tell, I really enjoyed Six Wakes. This was just a great read, and I think with all of its elements, it has a lot of crossover appeal to people who enjoy science fiction and people who maybe don't read SF that much but might like the murder mystery aspect. That is it for my review of Six Wakes by Mer Lafferty. I love this book and I really hope you'll consider picking it up. It comes out from Orbit on January 31st, and if you have already read it, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.